Well, hello Internet World. How's everyone doing today? Happy New Year's and Happy 2022. It's exciting times because Roblox released the latest and greatest model. Now we have the Roblox S7 Max V Ultra. Imagine having a self-washing, a self-emptying, also a front-facing camera to avoid those pesky obstacles. It's all in one unit. So in this video, we're going to talk about the S7 Max V Ultra, its features, which is a mile long, the specifications, and of course the pricing and how it compares to competition. Hmm, what do you guys think about the design here? You like it? You guys don't like it? It's kind of interesting how Roblox decided to go with the exposed uh, canisters there. Hopefully your dirty water tank doesn't show too bad. Now, you may notice this all black design, but they add a little subtle hints here with some red accents. Very, very nice in the docking station also in the robot itself. Alright, so if you've seen the Roblox S7, it's very similar up top. You got a 3 button layout. Also, you have a 360 degree laser system up top, that dome. Now, Unlike the S7, you do have a front-facing camera. This is Roblox's new Reactive AI 2.0 technology. So, with this new technology, it has a new processor, new RGB camera, and also you have the new laser systems on the side. So, there's a couple of new features which I'll talk about later in this video. Alright, so let's take a look at the back of the robot. It's very interesting. It's very similar to the S7. You have the vibrarized system. You have a water tank. And if you look very, very closely, there is a little port to allow the dock station to fill up the water tank. So this particular water tank is 200 milliliters, a little bit smaller than what I've seen on the competitors or on its other models, but I can't complain since it can auto uh, refill its water tank. All right, so if you look at the dock station itself, you notice you have two canisters off to your left that are about similar size, and you have one large canister. Now, that large canister holds the dust bag. It's disposable, uh, they say about seven weeks worth of dirt and the one in the middle is the fresh water tank and the one off to the far left is the dirty water tank. Now you can see the symbols there, notice the fresh water symbol and a dirty water so that's how I knew which ones was the fresh water and a dirty water. Okay so let's take a look at inside the docking station, you notice the extractor port there it's very large over the competitors, I will show you the comparison later on in this video but you can see like the S7 it works pretty well. Also if you see like the G10 has the same cleaning system which there's a spinning extractor bar which cleans the uh, mopping pad. Now in the back there is the two charging contacts and you also have the little fill port right there. So it's very interesting there's a lot of components in this docking station. It charges, it self empties, it self washes and it fills the water tank all in one unit. Alright let's keep on looking at the design here. Now here's the uh, when the robot's docked, very nice. And you may notice the little anti-slip grooves there. So when the wheels get wet, it doesn't have trouble redocking itself. Okay, so I really think Roblox looks nice and there's a very messy home there. Hopefully my home's not that messy and my uh, imaginary dog doesn't make a huge mess like that. Okay, so let's talk about the S7 Max V Auto's mopping system and the self-cleaning capabilities and how it's different from the competitors. Now, I am going to use the W10 for example because this kind of represents the competitors and what they're doing. So, they have counter rotating mopping pads and how they clean these mopping pads is there's a static mopping plate which basically presses against these mopping pads to move the dirt and grime and fresh water is applied to them. Now, Roblox took a different approach. They're actually using a spinning bristle ball design which actually goes along the entire length of the mopping pad and it applies fresh water. So I think this system should be pretty effective since it's using a lot of agitation to get the dirt and grime off. Also both these units do have self drying which they actually have a heating element to help remove the water. Alright so why did Roblox not just go with this system? Well it's been out there for a while. Well let's talk about the downsides. With this system there's no onboard water tank so you don't have precise control of the water flow. So there's some areas where you need more water, some areas where you need less water. Well, unfortunately, you don't have that control. Also, you can't vacuum carpets with the mopping pads on. And lastly, I felt just with the spinning agitation is not enough to get the tough dirt and grime off your floors. Okay, so what Roblox did is using the vibrarized system, which is found on the S7. I did test this. I felt like the vibrarized system, which vibrates up to 3,000 times per minute, did a really good job getting the dirt and grime off my floors when I did my testing. Also, since it lifts up about 2 centimeters off the ground, it can transition over low profile carpets, area rugs, rubber mats. So, if you have an area where it's divided off by carpet, you don't need to physically remove the mopping pads to get to that area, nor do you have to remove the mopping pads to vacuum that area. So that's a huge plus, kind of gives you more of a hands-off experience. 
Okay, lastly, the big important thing is the onboard water tank that the Roblox has. So yes, it has a 200 milliliter water tank. What this allows to do is have precise control of how much water you want in different areas. Also, it covers a larger area, about 300 square meters or about 3,300 square feet. So, that's the main benefit of Roblox system over the traditional competitors. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the self-emptying system. Nothing really has changed since the release of the S7, which was the first model that had self-emptying capabilities. But, I'll kind of show you how it's different from the competitors. So, I have the Z10 Pro here, and you may notice two extractor ports. Actually, there's only one. Here's where the dirt comes out, is over here, and this is an air inlet. Now, a lot of competitors like iRobot, Ecovacs have just a small extractor port. But what Roblox is doing is a giant extractor port. So, the theory behind it is, is if anything got inside the robot, well, it should be able to exit the same way. Okay, so another thing is with the S7 and also with the S7 Max V Ultra, the extractor bars are all glow brush design. What that means is... Hair that gets wrapped around is no B. It actually only gets wrapped around the ends here, not in the higher length of the extractor bar, which does require a cleaning tool. Okay, so like its competitors, Roblox is sticking with the bag system. I know some of you are hoping for a bagless system, and I know on the S7 you could get a canister that had a bagless system. But as of now, they are using a bag system. Okay, so like the competitors, you do have a uh, disposable bag, which just pops up here. You can see, and it should hold about seven weeks of worth of dirt. That's what Roblox says. All right, let's talk about the S6 Max V and S7 Max V Ultra and how it has the optical avoidance. Well, Roblox in the past has been known for very good navigation and pretty good optical avoidance, especially if you have to navigate those various opticals, random chainsaw in the middle of my kitchen area. But with the new S7 Max V Ultra, has the Reactive AI 2.0 technology. So basically it's an upgrade over the S6 Max V's technology. Has laser systems now. Also has a new RGB front facing camera and a new processor to handle new objects. Now what Roblox is doing is let's say this robot went around and saw a dining room set. Well in the application the user can select just a dining room set and it will just clean that area. So now you can create clean zones based on what obstacles the robot sees. A very cool technology. I'm excited to see how well that works. Also, for the new robot vacuum model, you have a RGB camera. Not sure it's the same camera as a regular camera found on the S6 Max V. So hopefully we still have the live streaming capabilities. It's kind of nice to check up on your pets or your home when you're away, which you can do on this model. Okay, so let's talk about pricing. I'll give you my final thoughts. Now, the S7 Max V Ultra is going to be priced retail for around $1,399.99. So basically $1,400. Yes, I heard some jaws dropping. I heard some thumping on the floor before I fell off the chair. Now, that's not as bad if you compare it to a competitor like the EcoVast D-Bot Omni X1, which is priced $1,849 on AliExpress. Okay, so if you want the latest grades, yes, you probably have to pull out your wallet and maybe take out a small loan. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But basically, it is a very expensive model, but you do get a lot for your money. Now, Roblox is planning on releasing some cheaper options, some mid-range options called the Q-Series, which will have the self-emptying, which is a nice plus if you don't want to empty out your wallet. Okay, so my final thoughts or my first impressions is the S7 Max V Ultra is basically everything that everybody's been wanting. Self-emptying, self-washing, good optical avoidance, a lot of great features, being able to recognize furniture and just click on the icon and have it clean around those furniture. So the S7 Max V Ultra should be able to satisfy those customers who basically want everything the latest and greatest. So stick around. So in February, I should have the robot in my hands and it's going to be released in Q2, second quarter of this year. So stick around. I'll have some coupons. I'll let you know when the official release date is. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Be safe out there and adios.